In this problem, there is a, a juice box which is attached to a spring and this is attached to a wall or a station. This wheel doesn't turn, it's stationary. And um, a force F is applied to this juice box. Okay, and this force F uh, is equal to five sine omega T, so omega being again five radians per second. Um, and so this is the forcing function and it's a sinusoidal function. Um, so the first thing we do with all of these problems is um, we find the free body diagram. And so in this case, I'm just going to draw the juice box um, out um, away from the system and I'm going to detach it from the spring and from the ground. Um, and I'm going to add all the forces. So we're going to have our force F pulling sinusoidally that way. And then we have our force of the spring which is FK, and then we have, um, well, just the normal force and the uh, gravitational force, FG. Now from the diagram, we can clearly see that N is gonna be equal to FG, and then these two forces added will be equal to the acceleration, because we also need to remember that we have um, an acceleration um, of the block. Okay, so if we take the sum of forces in the X direction, we get the following, F minus FK, sorry, let me write that better. FK is gonna be equal to MA, and this is AX, okay? Now, if we um, write this uh, in terms of what the values actually are, we can plug in F is equal to five sine of five T, And then we have minus FK, which is equal to um, KX. And then we have MAX, which is also equal to MX double dot. Okay, so this is our differential equation for the problem. And um, if we solve this differential equation, we're gonna get a um, value of X in terms of T. So position as a function of time. And um, if we rearrange this equation, you can see the following. Okay, if we rearrange and we separate, we pull the x terms on one side, and then we pull all the t terms on the other side, we see that this is a differential equation that we can solve. Um, and there's gonna be two parts to it. Um, there's gonna be a transient portion and a steady state portion, okay? Um, and um, the transient portion will decay to zero as time goes to infinity, but the steady state portion of this equation, of the solution of that equation, um, is just gonna be constant. And it's gonna be um, a function of this forcing frequency. So the force F has an amplitude of five newtons, um, with an omega of five radians per second. Okay, um, so this is what we call here omega naught, the forcing frequency, and this is what we call F naught, um, the magnitude of that forcing frequency, um, and of that force, sorry. Um, and um, so I'm not gonna solve this differential equation, um, but you know that um, the natural frequency um, is determined by the left here, equating this term here to zero, um, because the natural frequency uh, doesn't depend on the forcing function. Um, so, and then we can solve for it as usual um, by eliminating, taking this m term and dividing everything by m um, so that um, nothing is in front of this x double dot term. And whatever is in front of the x term, we take the square root and that's the natural frequency. So we have omega n being equal to the square root of k over m. And so in this case, we have square root of 25 uh, newtons uh, per meter over m, which is two kilograms. And so omega n um, is just gonna be equal to the square root of 25 over two um, radians per second, okay? Um, now we also, so that's um, how we get the natural frequency. 
now we want to find that uh, maximum amplitude. So the maximum amplitude is going to be determined by um, the amplitude of that um, particular solution, okay? because that is the steady state part of the solution. And so we know that when we have something of this form, um, xp, so the um, position x or the amplitude, is going to be given by um, f naught over k uh, divided by 1 minus omega naught over omega n all squared sine of omega naught t. Okay, so this is the particular part of the solution. And again, it's going to be a sinusoid that depends on the frequency, the uh, forcing frequency, omega naught. Um, but um, this amplitude here also depends on omega n, uh, the amplitude of the forcing function, and k. Okay, um, and um, so this is the form uh, of that solution if we have a sine term here. Um, and if we want to find the maximum amplitude, we know that this term here, the sine term, uh, goes from 0 or negative 1 to 1. So the maximum this can be is going to be 1. So it's just going to be um, this value over here. And we, if we plug in all of um, the knowns and the problem, we can actually solve for this because we just found the natural frequency. We're given omega naught, we're given k, and this is the maximum amplitude of 5. Okay, so this term here gives um, the maximum amplitude, uh, x max, at steady state. Specifically steady state because I chose the particular solution. Okay, so x max is going to be equal to f naught, which we said is uh, 5 newtons over k, um, which is uh, 25 newtons per meter, and I'll put that in brackets. And this is all divided by 1 minus omega naught, which we said was 5 radians per second, divided by omega n, which is uh, square root of, let me make that bigger, square root of 25 over 2. Um, and, uh, sorry, and that's still radians per second, uh, and that's all squared. Okay, and if we actually solve for this, we get uh, negative 0. Point or not negative, we get 0 0.2 uh, meters. That's going to be equal to x max. And that is the first part of the solution, the maximum amplitude. Next, we're asked to find the magnification factor. So magnification factor, mf, is going to be equal to um, the following form, 1 over 1 minus omega naught over omega n squared. And uh, this is going to be equal to, when we plug everything in, we get 1 over 1 minus omega naught, which is 5 radians per second, divided by omega n squared, which is square root of 25 over 2 radians per second all squared, um, and when we get, when we solve for this, um, we are going to get uh, negative 1. And again, this is a unitless parameter, so there's no units to the magnification factor. And this is the second part of our solution.